Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I, I sound a little bit ra horse radish, I guess, as people say sometimes. Anyway, if you've noticed my voice changed or something, don't worry, you'll freak out. I think I'm coming down with a cold or something. I'm not really sure. <clears throat> anyway, so this is going to be another unboxing video with a twist, unboxing, then try out the products that are in the box. Um, I haven't done that, uh, well, I, I like to share my opinions on products that I get in the mail and try them out, just like I do with food and all that. Anyway, so, this is not sponsored. <laughs> I don't really get sponsored videos, but if you want me to sponsor you, your company, hit me up at my email down below which is review real reviews for you dot fifteen at gmail dot com and I will link down below. Anyway, so this is a company called CrowdTap and CrowdTap is basically a a review website where you can rack up points to get five dollar gift cards on Amazon. And I've done so much, but I don't save up, which is, I'm going to save up now. Anyway, so, um, it's a review website where you review, um, and you can apply for campaigns that adds to your points if you complete them on time, and if you, um, I don't know why I keep moving my hands, but... Yeah, you can complete missions, you can complete camp like not campaigns, missions, um, make it missions, or sometimes food missions, or you lever Unilever missions and stuff like that. So you have you each have three flags. If you get all three flags on your profile, they eliminate you. I don't make the rules. I don't make the rules. I'm just putting it out there. But disclaimer, this is not sponsored. I'm not part of CrowdTop whatsoever. Um, I do have an account with them because um, I am a CrowdTap member. Anyway, so let's get this started. <laughs> so I am, this, I would, I never knew that I was a part of this mission in the first place. I applied for it because it's makeup related and I applied for it. I love makeup. Who doesn't love makeup? Who does not love makeup? You know, I have a lot of makeup that, yeah, I need to throw away. I need to throw away some makeup because they're old. But anyway, so you can apply for, mis for makeup missions and I apply for more makeup missions than you would ever believe. Um... So I applied for the Revlon Photo Ready campaign mission that they had, and to my surprise, I got an email saying that it was shipping to my house, and I was like, and I missed the email saying, you're in this mission, and I was like, wait, what? <laughs> So I kind of had no idea that I was in in, in this fo this photo ready mis mission in the first place. And I know you guys, what are you guys thinking? Get open, open the dang box already. So I am. So I already opened it, but you know, um, I already know what's in it. Um, just because CrowTap tells you what's in it tells you what samples are what is what products are in the box so um this um but the tape is the i i wanted to show you guys so so you get the uh you get the box and it it comes with it comes in paper wrapping paper like that. Not wrapping paper, but you know what I mean. Not wrapping paper, but tissue paper. So, you get a card like this. It says your hand-picked crowd top, crowd kit is here. Here's what you need. Here's what we, 
But here's where we need your help. And it tells you, look for an email about the mission that you're on. Complete your mission and submit a report on time or you get a flag. And high five yourself for being awesome. So I'm going to hide myself for being awesome. I'm kidding. Um, just because I applied for this makeup. <laughs> I'm trying to be cool, you know, but let's face it, I'm not cool whatsoever. Um, anyway, so I'm just going to show you the makeup. I was excited to get this makeup because I don't really have a professional highlighting palette. So I got the Sunlit, the Sunlit Dream in double O two. Um, it has the banana powder, which is the yellow. I'm going to show you guys if I can open it. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. If I can open it, open it. Thank goodness I have nails now. But I can't open it. I can't open it to save my life. I'm just taking piece by piece off. I need to get a clean slate. Come on! God, I can't open this. It's taking forever. Can we go to the, can we go to commercial? Is that an option? Yeah. I think we need to cut to commercial. I will be right back. Hi guys, welcome back. Um so I finally got it open, um, which is the Revlon Photo Ready Sunlit Dreams in the palette 002, and these are the colors. Um, I'm going to hopefully swatch them, if so. You can't really tell on camera. Mm. Yeah, you can't. They're like highlight. Oh. They're highlighters. They're so pretty. They're like so pretty. You can't really tell, but you can tell there's highlighter on my on my arm. But anyway, there's highlighter on my finger. So gorgeous. So so awesome. I love it. At first, I thought it was a contour palette, but I'm like, yeah, no. Like, at first, when I got it, I thought it was a contour palette. I was like, yeah, no. Because I, I don't, I have a contour palette, but I really want a contour palette. Please give me a contour palette. And another package that I have to open with my fingernails. So I got that one open. Oh. It's stuck into my arm. It's stuck into my arm. So this is the second product in the shade O Double O Three, I believe. And it's the whole box just fell. So this is the Photo Ready Eye Primer and Brightener. And I'm not going to attempt to do the French in this one. It's, it looks like my shade. You get to choose your shade, I guess. So, ooh. Ooh, I like this brush. <laughs> so this is the shade. This is the brush. It's one of those, one of those brushy brushes. And then you can just twist. I'm going to figure out how to work it. Because I've never had a brush like that. But it, it goes underneath the eyes, of course. And it can be used as an eye primer. I, I don't know why. I have to explain it. So. Um, I'm going to swatch that underneath my eye here in a minute. Um, I don't know where the other stuff, the other, 
Wait, what? There was another makeup product in here. No. I missed it. Hold on. Okay, so I one of the, one of them dropped, so I had to pick it up. So this is the next product, and this is the photo red the, the photo ready translucent uh, translucent finisher. I'm guessing it's a translucent powder, and it comes with a brush. A brown looking brush. Um, and ooh, so shimmery like. Like, show, like, show shimmery. Oh, that, that blends in nicely. It, it belongs to my skin. So I like that. Um, let's see. Lift. Uh,. Yeah, uh, and then the other last product that's in here, I have to take it off, is the Photo Ready Concealer, and I already have a concealer, but, it's sticking to my hair, how to use, apply over any imperfection. Pattern, okay. So, um, this can, this is a, like a corrector or whatever. From what I'm told, I'm, I'm still new to concealer, thank you. So, this is in the shade Revla, uh, Concealer Light Pale 002. Whoa. Okay, that's. Do you see? You you hear that? That sounds weird. So I'm gonna do that with my makeup. So <clears throat> let's do this thing, okay? So where's my other? Where's my oh, yeah. So I'm gonna be. Do I? What do I do? Do I do foundation first? Like, I'm still new to, like, concealer. Um, any beauty, beauty gurus out there that is looking at me, it's like, oh, poor girl, just help this poor girl do her makeup, you know. I need, Lord have mercy, I need to have help with my makeup sometimes. So, highlighting comes afterwards, I know that. Um, translucent powder comes after that. Concealer, I think. We do concealer first. Um, eye primer, eye brightener. You know, concealer is to... <laughs> Help me! I don't, I'm getting all my steps mixed up. I usually know how to do my makeup. Um, so, um... Yeah, be right back. I have to go look it up. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, so, I had to go on Google to find out if you put foundation before you put on concealer. Just to make sure, because I, I've always got taught how to put foundation on before you put concealer. Uh, so it conceals and stuff. That's from watching a lot of beauty gurus on YouTube. <laughs> so, shout out to all the beauty gurus who taught me how to do that. Jeffree Star, Patrick Star, Manu MUA, Joey Graceffa, Shane Dawson. <laughs> um, he's not, uh, Christine, Tati, all that, all those beauty gurus. I've, I've, I've watched a lot of them. Um, Anyway, so, I'm going to be doing my foundation. So, I'm going to be putting on my mirror, which is a new mirror that I'm going to be, uh, this is going to be featured, and this mirror is going to be featured in 
my future haul video that I got from Wish and Walmart but one of the items from Wish is not going to be included just because of safety measures and children probably watching my YouTube channel so yeah don't want that to happen so um, anyway this one I'm going to let y'all know so I'm going to be doing my, my foundation now um, I'm gonna go in with, I do BB cream, uh, this BB cream from Lady Godiva Beauty, um, that's really light on my skin, um, very airy, very airy, I don't know how that's, anyway, so it's very airy, and as you can see, I don't, I'm blemish free, uh, now, um, which is amazing, because, if you've seen my past videos, I've had like a ton of blemishes or here and there blemishes. I'm like, really. <laughs> so if and um, if you haven't already, please go check in the description box for my acne journey videos. Um, I just have I I have one more video I have to upload in that acne journey. That it would be weird. It it's weird, but. Hey, it works. <laughs> but uh, if you want to see my acne journey um, and inspiration, whatever, click down below. <laughs> and if you're new here, please click click the subscribe button down below and hit the bell notifications to get notified for any unboxing videos or review videos you guys want to see. So, I just put that all over my beauty blender. And it's a weird looking beauty blender, but it works. It's a beauty blender. Um, I want a, the new bloody... Bloody. <laughs> oh my god! I want to say beauty instead of bloody. I don't know why I said that. Oh my god, I feel so strange. But, uh, anyway. So I'm going to put that all over my face. And you want to dab that in all over your face. Like, I, I, I put it on my booty, beauty, booty. <laughs> I can't talk. Beauty blender. And then dab it all in. I go over my eyelids. and um, I like to dab it. Like, I don't know how some people, I like, I like, I like to smear it and then dab it in. But... That's just how I roll. That's how I do. This is how I do. I don't know. That is from Katy Perry. I don't know if I sung it right, but anyway. So, and I probably think that some beauty beauty gurus or anyone who does beauty videos, who watch my videos. And then they're gonna say, oh gosh, help this poor girl do her makeup. She's doing it wrong. If I'm doing make, if I'm doing some sort of technique, uh, beauty, beauty, in uh, in my makeup routine, if I do any makeup, um, wrong techniques, wrong, please let me know in the comments down below because I'm always open for more suggestions. I want to learn more about makeup. Um, I want to learn more about makeup and whatever else that's out there. So that's on. Um, so my beauty beauty blender. Yeah, my foundation BB cream is on. So I'm gonna go in with my concealer, and hopefully this goes really well. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I've always taught, got taught how to do like triangles or I don't know. Am I doing it right? Like, please, Lord, help me. I need help. I want help. I want help. 
So I got a little blemish there, right there. But that's about it. So I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender again and blend it all in. And see what it looks like. <laughs> I'm not the best at makeup, but I try hard, very hard to. Let's just say I watch a lot of beauty makeup videos from Pat from Jeffrey Star, Patrick Star, Manny, NUA, all of that. I try so hard to know what I'm doing at makeup, but I don't. So I go look at their channel. I go look at their channel and I, I look at their channel and I they help me along the way. They're my little helpers. They help me with my makeup. So I've done that. So I can put that back in the box. Um, um, where am I? No. And this is eye primer. The eye primer. I don't know how to use this. My first time using a brush. It's not coming. It's not coming. Oh boy, that's coming out. Okay. <laughs> it comes out at the end. Oh boy. So I'm going to use this as an eye primer. Or since I already have um, concealer on the bottom. Oh boy, this is like going everywhere. <laughs> like this is going everywhere. I'm <laughs> if I'm doing something wrong, please help me. Please give me advice. I really want advice from Tati or Jeffree Star. <laughs> it's my dream to um, actually meet one of those beauty gurus, but uh, I live in Arkansas. So that would be kind of difficult, you know. So I'm done with that. So I'm going to go in, in with my eyes now. And um, just keep it a little basic, you know. I don't need to... Um, I'm going to go in with this purpley shade right here and go in with my little makeup brush. I just love these makeup brushes. Like, I'm so glad I got them for free, you know. But, yep. So I'm going to go in with, and this. Dude. I like this shade. So pigmented. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. I have like fallout from it. Mm. I have dark circles underneath my eyes. So I'm going to go in with that same shade and put it on my, my lid. And again, you'll have some salt, but I guess that's fine. So next I'm going to go in with the gold shade I showed you that's right above that. I'm 
and just go above that and just give it a little shimmer um... it's just basic makeup right now but This is, this is basic makeup. Anyway, so I'm done with that. Um, another thing I've noticed, like I I got taught, was to like when you do like eyeshadow, you hold on. <clears throat> One thing I I I learned from the gurus, guru gurus, beauty people is. Once you do like eyeshadow or blush or whatever, you you tap it so you don't get a lot of so you don't get a lot of stuff on there. So I've done that. So I'm gonna be going in with a basic mascara. This is uh your reality or your re I don't know. It's I got this makeup this mascara in a mascara project I was doing with a company um, from a community and the tape the tape wore, wore the, the, the word out so I don't know if it's like their real or something I think it's their real from Benefit Cosmetics um, it's made in France <laughs> please tell me this is not beauty cruelty here like animal cruelty here but I like the fact I like the brush like it has like it's a weird brush but it's like it's short stumpy like me ha 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 but at the end it has at the end it has a like little spiky like a spiky ball to it um so you can get like the outer edges and or the innards I'm not really sure what I just said but I'm gonna do it and this mascara is really good about separating your eyelashes. And that's why I like this mascara. I really like all mascaras. I'm not biased. I'm not... I'm not biased to one mascara. I like, I like them all. Sometimes you'll have clumps, like clumpies. Like sometimes you will have clumpies, but that's I think that's in all mascaras. Um. Like, I really am silent when I'm, like, because I'm focusing on my eyes. Because the mascara wand is right next to your eyeball, so. Okay, this eye looks like it has more mascara on it than this one. I think this one has more. I don't know why. It looks weird. It looks like this side is the dead side and this one is alive. what's going on. I just look at like I'm like I don't know. But I do have mascara on both eyes. 
Yeah, this one definitely has more mascara on it, but I'm done with that. Um, what else do I need to do? Highlighter. I'm going to use the new highlighting palette. Um, which one should I go for? I don't know which one should I go for. But I do know what brush I want to use. The fan brush. I love the fan brush because I just, I'm addicted to high highlighting now. Thanks to the beauty gurus. So, I'm going to go in with this top one right here. See if I can, I don't think. I don't think it's picking up though. Is it? I don't know if it's picking up though. It's on there. Okay, I'm gonna get a different brush, but you know. Yeah, I don't think. So I'm gonna go and use this slightly angled brush, you know kind of looks like a kabuki brush um but I'm gonna go in with the same let me see no, I, don't know. I don't think you can see it Like it's supposed to be shiny. Yeah. Yeah, you can already see it. You can already see it flaking my, like on my cheeks because I'm really oily. It's gross. It's really gross. Really, really gross. Like, this side's fine, but this side you can see more of it coming off, so. This is just not how I want to go. But, so I'm gonna apply highlighter everywhere. See if it does anything. My highlighter. Am I highlighted? I don't know. Am I highlighted? Uh, that's like too much. <laughs> so I am sort of done with that. Um, I'm gonna go in with my blush now. Um, you can see that. So I'm gonna go in with my tart, my little tart blush in the color part parte um so i'm gonna go in with the same brush and go in i'm surprised the design's still there i'm gonna go in like that i don't think we're gonna be saying anything And with that, now I'm going to go in with my translucent finishing powder. Oh gosh, no, no! Jack Rabbit. <clears throat> I lost my brush. Ah, I can't even, get, I can't even pull up my my chair. Anyway, so I'm going to go in with this brush. Tap it and just see. And this, I don't know why, it just smells good to me. I 
Oh my god, someone needs, I need help. I look pale on camera, but trust me, I'm not pale. I'm not pale. Ah, I am pale. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm not pale, according to yeah. This side is more oily than this side. I don't know. I don't know what's up. My face is just like a nightmare right now. So I'm done with that. Gonna go in lipstick now. Um, which is this, um, fake Kylie Cosmetic. It, I don't know, it's a knockoff. Kylie Cosmetic Birthday Edition and Coco K. And it's a matte lipstick. See, it's really matte. And it smells... It smells nice. I mean... Some people have said that they bur it burns, but... I haven't had that issue. Although it does feel cheap on the, on the lips. But other than that... I like the color. No! <laughs> it fell. I got color all over my pants. And my hand. So this is like edgy kind of look. Anyway, so that's my makeup look. I hope you guys like it. Find it funny that I added some of the pictures of Please Stand By and we'll be right back. But hope you guys like this tutorial uh, and me trying out the new um, products. Uh, my overall review, I like um, I like the makeup itself. I love Revlon. Revlon's, I've always, I've used Revlon forever. Um, I'm 25, so I've used Revlon for maybe 18 years. Um, no. No, maybe five. I would say five, maybe five or seven years. Um, Revlon's been run in, ran in my runs in my family. I love Revlon, but I also love other makeup brands. I'm just not partake to that one. Um, I do love this makeup. I just I love this co collection. I hope I get more collection products from this collection, um, including the foundation and all that. Um, I mean um, the translucent powder. Um, it's supposed to have shine free soft luxurious feel which I do think it feels nice um, it's supposed to block in oil which I'm gonna test that out um, I don't know I just my skin is all over oily and I, I just don't know um, although this finishing translucent powder has shimmer in it. Um, I do like the brush on the the eye primer and brightener, which I'll be using as a primer. And then I do like highlighting palette. Um, I'm excited to try new products with that one. And I do like the concealer that comes that came in the box itself. So, I hope you guys like this tutorial. I'm, it's like a edgy, I, I get it like an edgy look, kind of. Um, gothic, edgy look, kind of. I don't really know, but I hope you guys like this video. I hope I didn't bore you guys to death like I usually do. So, I hope you guys like it. Bye.